Hello Buzzacults, my name is Hotsasi and welcome back to another day in Minecraft uh, here in our tunnel bore world um, and sometimes it's good to just take a step back because what we came up with uh, last time was this contraption that can move the blocks uh, here to the side but then we run issues because uh, the block from one side destroys the block pusher on the orthogonal side here so that was not really a good thing but just stepping back, I came to the realization this we have built all on the same uh, Y level. But that's not really necessary because we can, for example, push these blocks up to here, move them out here, we can move these blocks up to here move them out maybe to this side and then merge these two block streams together and then probably uh, on the opposite side we can move the blocks here as well and then this one also on this uh, level here and then we merge uh, two sides together and then we only have then we basically reduced the number of block streams that we have to combine uh, to two instead of four and then we can um, combine the other two again. And it, it will probably be a bit uh, fickly with the, with the timing because do we have uh, there we have instant repeaters here we basically have something um, like a, a piston pusher but if we push blocks in too fast especially if we want to merge it it can break so we have to find an approach there so either we have it timed in a manner that we only get blocks from this side uh, that we push into a single block stream and then we get these two or we have some other mechanism to do that and uh, this probably means that I have to first look into how uh, I can merge the, the block streams because the the pushing on the uh, on the hor right horizontal layer here around we can do that with this contraption. So we would move these out here and then we can move those two uh, over and then probably also need to move a bit in this direction. And if we then have them coming here, then we would basically push either one up and one down or uh, just one down. Uh, we will have to see what's the best option to, uh, to merge these two streams. So I will figure out how best to do that and then we can give the, the first two side a try and see how that works out. 
After a bit back and forth with several ideas, I have something that's working. Here we have the lower uh, piston pusher and here we have the upper one which is considerably smaller because on the lower one we have to push the blocks a bit further out there um, so that we can then shift everything around there. And we have to use piston pushers because the, the pullers they can only pull one block but we always have a double block here so that does not work. Um, then it's also a bit um, or it, it was a bit tricky to get the, the timing right. Uh, we need a bit of delay coming in here because we want these stones uh, to be moved up uh, and for that uh, all the pistons below need to have fired. So I think we have that and going out of this piston pusher we then take the signal up here and continue with that one pushing the things out. And as it turns out with uh, the timing that we have all around it works out that um, we do not have uh, a conflict there and then once we have pushed the block out here uh, we have um, basically here we then have a, a single block stream that we then can just redirect in this direction up and over so here we are on the same level as the other block stream uh, and then we push it towards the middle and here we have a quite simple setup where we have observers uh, observing the block below when that moves, redstone signal, piston fires and we get uh, output there. So all these ones are from the test rule from uh, Blokarinsky. Uh, I have already uh, used his designs um, and this one, um, this is actually something I came up on my own. Uh, there is also um, a bit of a more complex, uh, let's get rid of uh, the weather. Uh, there is also a bit of a, a simpler design or well, simpler, maybe it's also more complicated, but that basically necessitates, necessitates the two block streams uh, to be just one gap apart and then we can have um, a different setup down here uh, which I actually tried but was not working because we have more than one block that we need to move over. So then let's actually see how this works. I will only place the blocks that need to be uh, uh, picked up and let's go here. There the blocks are pushed over and then pushed out here as you just saw and let's remove a few of those blocks so we do not run into push limit issues when we want to try the next time. So the next thing is basically do the same thing for these two sides and we will then end up with a block stream coming out this way and then we can combine these two block streams 
uh, wrap uh, them around uh, and uh, have one single block stream in the end that can be fed into a blast chamber. So I think I will get to it. It might be a bit uh, fickly um, getting all the redstone and so on in here, but I think uh, I will manage. As you see, it's working as expected with the second side in. With this out of the way, I think we managed to cover the most difficult part. What still remains to do is combining these two block streams, but I think that's just more of the same that we did um, over on these two sides, with redirecting and then combining two streams into one stream with a setup like that one. And then of course we need to bring everything together with the uh, actual bore as we have it here and then also hook up the detection system uh, that we have on here uh, to figure out when does the bore come back uh, and then trigger the unloading out of that. But that's it for today. Next time we will finish this project and then we will see what we will do with it in our actual world. Until then, goodbye.